Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Augs and welcome to a brand new series on my channel. This is Augs Plays Minecraft and hopefully this is going to be a long-term survival series on my channel. Uh, I've, I've been wanting to start one of these for a long, long time now, taking a lot of inspiration from Ethos Lab. Uh, he has a very, very long series on his channel, a solo single player survival guide, not guide, but single player series. And that's kind of what I want to do. So I'm super excited for this. Hopefully it goes for a long, long time. Uh, but I'm excited to see what kind of progress we can make in this world and how it is just going to be going on. So hopefully you guys are excited as well. I've been putting this off for a while now. And uh, I don't know. It feels good to finally be in the world uh, and finally being able to do it. So this is our... This is this is our world. This is our world. I haven't actually set a seed for this world uh, Just kind of randomly created it uh, But I did like the spawn on this one just because there's some trees over here. There's a bit of a interesting mountain over there uh, And some acacia wood as well, which is kind of cool. So we're just gonna be going on uh, Obviously first day just literally making a, a base setting up Ooh, some sheep over there. Nice um, but yeah, this is just going to be a very, very chill, casual series on the channel. Like I said, hopefully it goes for a while. Ooh, there's a desert over there too. I like that. I like that. Um, but yeah, this isn't going to be a guide of anything. It's literally just going to be me playing Minecraft. So hopefully you guys are excited for it. Um, definitely taking a lot of inspiration from Etho's lab. So, uh, yeah, if you guys haven't checked out Etho, uh, I would definitely recommend it just because he's amazing. And definitely big uh, inspiration for this. But I'm excited because we're literally just playing Minecraft. And uh, I don't know. I was going to be doing a survival guide on Minecraft. But I feel like, uh, I don't know, for a first series, it does kind of complicate it a little bit. And put a little bit of pressure on me just to perform. Um, and I don't know. I, I didn't really want that pressure on me. So we're just going to be chilling out, playing some Minecraft. And that's, I mean, that's... That's what this whole series is about. So, um, ho you know, hopefully we get better at like building, redstoning, kind of everything like that. But we're going to be taking our time through the wonderful world of Minecraft. Oh, my goodness. Okay. By the way, guys, I forgot to mention uh, we are playing on hardcore difficulty. So <laughs> there's going to be some some baddies trying to get us already off the bat. Ooh, some seeds right here. Yeah, there's definitely going to be some baddies right off the bat trying to get us, unfortunately. This creeper is trying to blow us up. Let's see if we can get him in the water here. Come here, Mr. Creeper. Come here, dude. What you got? What you got? So if he's in the water, he shouldn't blow up. Oh, okay. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Oh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe he wasn't enough in the water. He was just kind of inching towards it. Okay. Well, we are literally on one heart. I'm three now, but that's not good. We need to go get some food. And I've actually just forgotten about the sheep that I need to get as well. Um, so let's see. Can we make a... Let's make an axe and then do a little bit of slaughtering. Just because we need food and some wool would be really nice. Ooh, wait, one hit? One hit on a cow. I've never seen that before. Okay, that's really interesting. This, this axe is like OP as heck, man. I've never seen that before. Let's see. Wait, what? Really? Wait, is it really only a one hit? On a wooden axe. Is that, is that a change? Has that been changed? Seven attack damage. I think that's the same. I think that's the same. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm brain farting right now, but I don't think it's normally one hit. It's very interesting. Okay, well... I'll take it. I do need one more white wool, though. I think there's some sheep. Is there some sheep over there? Maybe there's not. Maybe there's only a cow. Oh, no. that That's not the best thing. I want to want to be able to sleep during the night. Let's see. Oh, there's some bees over there, too. That's kind of cool. All right, come here. This, this feels really OP, though. I don't know why. It does feel really OP. Look at the cave system around here. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. I like that. I don't want to, like, jump into it uh, right away like I kind of already did. Just because there's probably going to be some baddies down there. And I don't have any armor or anything. 
And uh, I'm probably going to get blown up by a creeper. So, let's see. Ooh, I like that tree up there, too. I like that tree up there. Now, I'm not exactly sure how many cuts are going to be in this series either. Um, but, I don't know. This series is mostly for me. Uh, just because I want to be... I, I want to try and be consistent on on anything in YouTube. Because I feel like my entire YouTube career, uh, if you could call it that, uh, has just been a lot of inconsistencies. A lot of like random videos at a time and then stopping and burning out and I don't know I don't really want to do that anymore so this is just kind of a, a test for me to see if I can actually make something out of this YouTube thing uh, as far as like being consistent and everything like that goes I'm not gonna be like uploading every single day um, but you know you know maybe maybe two videos a week two videos a, a week I think would be kind of good um, but we'll see where that goes i'm just really trying to not burn out and have some fun man have some fun because honestly that's what that's what gaming's about that's what youtube should be about so i'm gonna kind of stop looking at it as like a business side of things and and just really just have some fun so hopefully it comes across and uh you know i, I know it's gonna get better over time i'm really really rusty right now just because i haven't recorded or streamed or anything in a while so i'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm a little rusty. It's a little, a little awkward right now. But I think uh, over time it's definitely gonna get a lot better. See, there we go. That one wasn't one hit. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you got a baby over here. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm such a bad person. I'm such a bad person, man. What is that? I feel so bad. I let the I let the baby live though. Hopefully that that doesn't make me that bad of a person. Um, I do need one more white wool though. Some pumpkins up there. I do need one more white wool. I don't see another sheep. Unfor Wait. Yes, I do. <gasps> yes, I do. Oh my gosh. As the sun is about to set, I think we have just found more sheep. Oh, thank you. Yep, there's some more over there. Perfect timing. Yeah, I, I, I don't really care about setting up a base my first night, but I definitely do need a bed just so that I don't get absolutely destroyed by the hostile mobs that spawn during the night yeah look at this this is cool i haven't actually been in a an acacia bio is this an acacia biome a savannah okay i haven't been in a savannah in minecraft in a while actually so this is kind of different for me this is kind of a reason why i i kind of chose this seed just because it's it's all new it's all kind of new to me um there's a lot of things in minecraft that i don't know about which is why i didn't really want to make a survival guide just because i don't know i there, there's a lot of things that i don't know i'm a bit of a noob to the game actually uh just because I haven't played it in a while um i've been kind of on and off so with all these different updates that are coming out and everything i i was like hey, you know we'll just we'll just play it and then that way we can learn together i think that'd be a little better um but let's get these pumpkins I do love me some pumpkins. There's actually a, a decent bit of them over here too. Awesome. Okay. So it's going to be turning nighttime, which is fine. Make another crafting table. Really quick. Hurry, 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 hurry. I got to hurry up. I don't want any house to mobs to spawn in. There we go. Did we do good? Did we beat the mobs? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Awesome. So we just beat the mobs. From spawning in which is nice okay Dude, there's so many animals that spawn over here too i like it i like it i'm normally in like a in like a plains biome so being in a savannah is kind of kind of different but it's it's nice so let's go uh let's go mining i know my crafting tables over there but let's go here just because i don't want to jump into a cave like i said this should be a bit safer get some cobblestone and getting some uh some basic tools up and running. Look at that. There's some coal already. That's nice. That is nice. Okay, so I'm going to get some cobblestone here. Uh, get some tools going. And then I will be right back with you guys in just a second. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Please. Don't. Don't do this. <laughs> don't do this. No. No. Oh no, dude! Half a heart. Are you kidding me? Oh jeez. 
Man, it is scary out here. All right, sweet. So we have just now got a little bit more cobblestone. As you can see, we have a stack right here. Uh, we almost got killed by a creeper, but fortunately, we barely escaped with like half a heart. So that was kind of, kind of crazy. I didn't expect a, a creeper to be coming at us like that. Um, what did that creeper actually saw? Oh, he came out of here. Okay, I haven't seen this yet. We might do a bit of caving. I don't know. We'll see. We are playing on hard difficulty. Uh, I haven't locked it in. But, oh, yeah. There's, there's, oh, my goodness. Yeah. Two creepers already. Yeah, we are getting out of here. We are getting out of here. This is like creeper kingdom, man. I cannot, I cannot be going in there right now. I don't have enough, uh, enough armor or any armor for that matter. We're kind of, we're kind of naked out here. Um, but okay. Let's see. For, uh, for a starting base, where should we make it? I normally do a little bit of caving, uh, before I start a base, but I think, I think we're just going to be doing some resource gathering. Just get some wood. Maybe since we're by the acacia trees, we could, you know, kind of implement that a little bit into what we're, uh, into what we're building. I think that could be kind of cool. Um, but let's see. Is there any place around here that I really want to set up? I haven't really thought about this too much. Um, as far as like a starting base goes, I have some plans for the series. Uh, but as far as a starting base, I'm not exactly sure. I'm thinking somewhere near spawn would be good just in case we die and our bed doesn't work to uh, respawn us in. Somewhere near spawn could be kind of nice. Maybe this greener area over here the grass over here in the savannah is a little it's a little dry as you can see it's like yellowish which i don't know i like the the different grass effects but i don't know there's something about this green grass over here that's definitely calling my name so what i might do is hmm we do have like a little bit of a mountain over here we could what is that oh is that another cave we could hunker down in a little bit of a cave that could be kind of cool, actually. If we go, like, in here. Oh, there's some sandstone. Okay. It's a little bit dangerous. It's a little bit dangerous. I'm not seeing any mobs, though. And then it goes through here. You know, this is actually not a bad, not a bad cave. And I've never actually made a cave base. So I'm thinking uh, we might actually use this as a starter base. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking we might do. Let's use this as a starter base. We'll probably clear some stone out just so we can kind of get it in to, to the wall over here. Um, but I like this. I like this. It's got a pretty decent entrance. It's a decent size as well. Um, yeah, let's do that. We'll, we'll definitely be moving these trees um, also. But let's get some wood here and then we'll start uh, hollowing that out a little bit. Okay, there we go. That might be enough for now. Um, I'm also thinking let's probably cut this water. Wait, there's some light down there. Is there lava? Oh, I hear a zombie. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. We need to light this area up because that is not good. That is not good. If a zombie comes up on us when we're not expecting it, uh, yeah, we might die. Especially, you know, being in hard mode or hard difficulty. Yeah, that's not a great thing. So I'll make some torches here. And yeah, let's cut this water off. Just because it's going to make us a, it a little difficult to get into our cave here. Let's go ahead and put a torch in that. There we go. Offer a little bit more light. Oh, it's a bunny. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. I actually don't know how to tame a bunny. Now that I think about it. Is it seeds? Is it seeds, actually? Let me see. If I get some seeds, do they like seeds? I think they, they like carrots, right? I think you, yeah, I think you tame bunny buddies with, uh, with carrots. Um, okay. Yeah, let's, let's go over here. I, I'm excited that there's a, there's actually animals spawning over here, which is very, very good things because it shouldn't be that difficult to set up, a an animal pen or anything like that should be pretty, pretty good. And there's these white flowers here. What are these? These are lily of the valley. Okay. Man, I have not played enough vanilla Minecraft lately. There's going to be a bunch of stuff in this series that uh, I'm not I'm not so used to getting or, or seeing at all. Yeah, there you go. Burn. Burn in, in lava. In, it's not lava, but it's fire. Ow! You're hurting me now. Okay. <laughs> I forgot they uh, 
if they're on fire and they hit you, that you will also be on fire, which is not great. But it is turning night again for the second time. There we go. Let's just sleep it away. Oh, the bunny. You can see the bunny over there. Man, I wish I had some carrots. I really, really wish I had some carrots right now. That'd be so cute to have. Um, but yeah, look at this. I like this. I like this. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys actually think of this. We might have to make the entrance a little bigger. I'm thinking that could be a bit better if we kind of make it a little bit bigger. Do some uh, terraforming around here. That could be cool. Maybe higher and like arch it a little bit. We definitely have the room up top, which is which is good. But let's light it up. Oh, okay. Skeleton. That's not good. I don't have a shield either. All right, let's take it real quick. Oh my god. Three hearts, dude. They hurt. They really, really, really hurt. All right, let's go through here and hopefully get it all, all nice and lit up so that no hostile mobs can spawn. Why is there a light over here? Is there a light over here? There is. Is that a, is that a lighting bug? I think that's a lighting bug because I don't see any... Never mind that. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see that hole right there. I was like, there's no way that light is soaking in right there. Oh man, of course. Of course. It'd be just like me to say something like that. Don't don't pay any any mind to that. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> oh, okay. It looks like it goes a little bit deeper over here as well. Which is kind of cool. Oh yeah, there's an enderman down there. Okay, we got to be really careful not to look at this Enderman. Because if he hits us, like, once, I'm pretty sure we're dead. So, actually, let's let's eat a steak. Because we are two and a half hearts, which isn't good. We'll eat a steak. Hopefully, we can regenerate a little bit. Ooh, okay. What's up, dude? How you doing, bro? Look at him. You can look at his feet. But if you look at his face, he just doesn't like that. He, he does not like... Ooh, okay. Let's see if we can blow him up with his creeper. Nope, he's getting away. He, okay. Maybe they're actually smart. I think they are actually smart. That did not work out. Let's see. Can we kill this Enderman? I think if we cheese him, we can. So what we're going to do is see if I can cheese him a little bit. He shouldn't be able to come in here. If you dig like a like a two, uh, a two high little hole under the, the side of the mountain, you should be able to look at him like that. And he should come over here. There we go. There he is. There he is. There he is. And then... Oh, okay. There he is. Come here. And he should try and hit us, but he can't reach us. And... Come on. Give us the pearl. Hey, there we go. Oh, come on, man. Didn't even give us a pearl. That's okay. We definitely took him out, which is good. We don't have to worry about him anymore. Is there some lava over here? It looks like there is some light coming from over here. Oh, it's a glow lichen, isn't it? So glow lichen. Yeah, these things right here, these these like vine looking things, they actually glow. Which is really, really cool. I think this was in the 1.17 update. Um, yeah, we definitely got to get a farm for those going. I think you can make an automatic uh, glow lichen farm. Uh, I, I might be wrong. I might be wrong about that, but I think you definitely can. Uh, let's see. This this cave is actually a pretty good size. A pretty pretty good size for sure. The only other thing that can make this a little better is if we find a spawner. Uh, because that would be awesome. Especially early on like this. A uh, spawner would be just amazing. Very, very good for, for early game XP. Um, but it definitely is a bigger sized cave than I thought it was. Okay, that size that side goes up a little bit. Let's make a few more torches here. Keep lighting it up. I've seen a lot of coal as well. So that's really good. This looks like it goes up. Man, I love the sandstone texture. I love it. I love it so much, man. We gotta build like a a sandstone castle or something. Does doesn't that what it looks like? I don't know. The the, the texture on the sandstone really looks like a, a castle. I think uh, sandstone and brick looks really good together also. Let's see. 
It just keeps going, man. It literally just keeps going. Oh, this is amazing. Some more copper, some iron, coal. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of good ores in here, which is awesome. And now I think the only use for copper is uh, is a spyglass, because I know you can make a spyglass out of copper. I don't know if there's another use for it, though. We'll just keep lighting this up as we go. I think that's a dead end. Nope. Is it a dead end? There might be more. There might actually be some more in here. Oh my gosh, it just never stops. <laughs> there we go, now it stops, okay. Let's get a few more torches. Man, we have used so many torches on this. This is this is awesome, this is really, really good. I like this a lot. Um, I wish it was a little bit more down, like underneath the, uh, the ground, um, but I don't know. It's I think it's okay, being being somewhat decently high up just because it does have its spots where it is uh it is down so that's not too bad where does this come up at yeah right here okay that's not bad that's not bad wait weren't we over there weren't we over there? this is a giant cave because we're we're in the sand we're in the the desert biome now and i'm pretty sure we came in in the savannah which was over in that area or that direction this is really really cool though i like this i think we missed some more did we miss some more uh directions over here let's cut this water off oh yeah down through here okay so we'll cut the water off just because it makes it a little bit more difficult to walk oh my goodness oh i like this it's more open in here where does this go? This goes down and splits off in another direction. Oh my gosh, dude. What is happening right now? This is a crazy cave. This is awesome. Okay, so another dead end, which is fine. I am good with that. Let's go check out this other area back here. This one, this area looks really, really cool, actually. There's some more glow lichen, which is nice, providing a decent light source in here. Now, what is this? Is this blackstone? What does it say? Oh, it's basalt. Wait, is this a... Is this an amethyst? Yo, is this actually an amethyst? This is an amethyst, right? Basalt and then cal... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We've... Oh, oof -da. Okay. We gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. If a creeper comes up on here... Uh, yeah, he can blow up the amethyst, and we can lose everything, which would not be good. So let's light this up first before we try and get in there. But oh my goodness, we just found an amethyst. <gasps> no way, dude. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We found an amethyst, a ravine that leads to an abandoned mine shaft, and we're still in the same cave that we've been exploring this entire time. Oh my gosh, guys. I hear a zombie over here too. Is there is there a spawner in here? Dude, this is insane. I would have never thought that the cave that we were going into would have all of this stuff in it. An amethyst, ravine, mine shaft. Dude, it never stops. It never stops. This is awesome. This is a very, very good starting base, especially just because I was like, you know, let's let's just put it in a in, in a cave. I did not think it was gonna go this down. This is this is insane. Oh my goodness, guys. Well, I think that is a perfect time to end off the episode. So uh, <laughs> I hate to get, to leave you guys on a on a bit of a cliffhanger here, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one where we will begin to uncover the rest of this cave look in the abandoned mine shaft and everything else but i am super duper excited and hope you guys are as well see you guys in the next one and have a fantastic day catch you later